I'm Angie. Welcome to the our new members. <laughs> Jay. Bob. Right. What's your first name again? Angie, I'm sorry, but I, I won't be able to understand. You don't hear me? You're right. Oh, yeah, no, I can, I can hear you, but I won't be able to understand. I'm sorry. I've got my hearing aids in, but the sound is not working right on. Okay. All right. I just wanted, I just wanted to recall, see if I remember your first name. I'm going to go over there. That might help me, too. Oh, are you a class? We're, we're, we're in class. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I never met a camera. See, Rob is here. He's going to go to the class today, right? <laughs> <laughs> He's got what to do. Yeah. Hello, everybody that's watching, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's begin. It is time. So, welcome everyone to the Share Yoga. Again, I'm Angie. Welcome to everyone online. And um, you're welcome to, in yoga, we normally keep our shoes off, but you're welcome to keep monetary issues. So, just say so you know, this is a normal yoga class. So we try to drop all the general rules of yoga. We just have an extra prop, our chair. All right. So I'll go through yoga with you, and we'll go through the process just like any normal yoga class. So you should feel, if you are a yogi, you are a practitioner, you should feel very comfortable here. Plus the fact that you're sitting is the only difference other than having a nap. All right. So is this your first time doing? Yes, ma'am. All right. So good. This is a very good Should I go up? Hmm? I thought that'd be more painful, but I oh, can... you're welcome to come up. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll come. <laughs> I just thought it'd be a lot more painful. <laughs> well, we have a few signed up, but then there's all these some that you know sign yeah. up and then they don't show up. Yeah, something happens. Or they're online, they decide to show up. But Catherine. Hi there, so I can see who's online. <laughs> All right, so there we go. Good, so I like to have a block, and I put it behind me in order to uh, remind myself of having good posture. Sitting up tall, shoulders back, and the head lifted. And use the muscles in your body, in your torso, to lift up. So just notice if you're sitting and starting to slouch, just move the muscles, lifting the heart. One other thing I like to have and I try to have is a strap, a yoga strap. If you don't have one, you can use a resistance band. You can use a, a, an old belt, a hand towel. So if you bring that with you, sometimes it helps um, for some of the stretching exercises that we do at the end. Or even if you find that you need them during the class. You're welcome to use any of these to help you, assist you. All right, so we have people showing up. Inhale, arms come out, knee breath in, and we work first with our pranayama, which is our breath work. Palms together, and then thumb to sternum, relax the elbows and shoulders. And deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, hands drop into the thighs. Knuckles surrendering into the thighs, shoulders back, still good posture. Begin to exhale and close the eyes. And if it is uncomfortable to close the eyes, you're welcome to gaze gently down at the floor. And then deep breath in through the nose. And exhale out the mouth completely. Feel the belly pressing back, pushing the air out of the lungs. Inhale deeply in through the nose. And exhale out the nose this time completely. Notice the body relaxing. The shoulders, the legs, the belly. Focusing on the breath. Working on the 
Please start breathing. Inhale again through the nose, feeling the chest, shoulders rise, extension of the belly. On the exhale, feeling the shoulders, chest drop, belly button press back. Focus on the movement, on the breath. The breath is primary to any poses that we do. All poses are therefore secondary. Directing the mind in order. Noticing if you have any thoughts that fall into your head without judging. Filling them out, taking them away. Giving yourself this hour to relax the mind, to release tension from the body, to just listen and find stillness. Elbows come together. See if you can bring your forearms together. 
Again, any shoulder issues, there shouldn't be any pain. Then we clasp the hands and we begin to rotate with the wrists all the way in. Work the shoulders a little bit long, lifting the elbows up a little high. Breathe. Then reverse the rotation. You're not reaching all corners of this room. Rotating all the way around. Press through the wrists, expand out through the arms, shoulders down. You can bring the shoulders away from the ear. Good. Inhale, lift up, reach up. Again, any shoulder issues, you can bend the elbow. Exhale, hands come down behind you, grab the chair, and come forward with the heart. Feel the shoulder blades squeeze together. Breathe. Inhale, arms come forward. Interlace the fingers and press the wrists out. Breathe. Feel the stretch through the shoulders. Now bring the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands down. Heart forward. Down to side movement. Stretching again to side and neck. The shoulders. Inhale, back to center. Reach up with the heart. Arms come up. And gently begin small little rotations in one direction for now. You can be tiny, tiny, or you can create much larger circles, progressively becoming larger and feeling a stretch through the side and back, front of the body. And reverse. Again, we can start small, tiny circles, and then progressively get bigger. Working the shoulders. Now slowly come back to center. Lift up tall. Inhale, exhale. Left hand down, right comes over. Think of an imaginary ball behind you. And think about pressing both shoulder blades back against it. You get more intense stretching through the side of the body. Breathe, keep breathing. Remember, it is more important than the pose. Inhale, lift up, reach up, and exhale, switch. Lift the heart, try not to drop down, but lift. Use that arm supporting you to help lift you. Breathe, remember that imaginary wall behind you. Press the shoulder blades back. Yes, stop. Inhale, lift one more time. Exhale, over. Breathe. Lift up the body. Help to breathe more efficiently and with more ease. Your breath should be with ease. Effortless breathing. Inhale. It's always learn to adjust your body so that you can breathe effortlessly. Holding back. Good. Inhale, lift, reach up. We're going to twist to the left, gently bringing your right hand to the knee, left hand to the chair. And make sure the knees are over the ankles, pressing the feet to the floor so that the toes is primarily at the waist and ribs. And we twist as far as possible, as long as you can breathe. Unwind, realign the spine, lift up tall, exhale now to the right. Your left hand to the knee, right hand to the chair, sitting up tall. Again, heart lift, head lift. One more time, strong feet, knees over the ankles, lift up tall, exhale again to the left. 
Maybe this time we'll stretch through the cervical spine. So maybe the chin will look back over the left shoulder. Maybe the eyes will look beyond. And just focus on one spot. Work the muscle in the eye. Breathe. Inhale, unwind, and realign the spine. Exhale, and to the other side. Deeply lift up. And again, adding that extra twist through the cervical spine if available to you today. And you can add in a little work to the eye. As it focuses on one spot, breathe. Inhale, unwind, realign the spine, lift up tall. Exhale, hands come down. Now press your feet to the floor. Knees are over the ankles. And your legs are back hip width apart. Inhale, arms come up, up towards the loop. Heart lift, eyes look up. Feel gentle pressure on your lower back that you maintain. Exhale, hands come down. Tadasana, mountain pose. Your legs are pressing into the floor. Feel the arches engaged. Your quadriceps are engaged. Your glutes engaged. Your core is engaged. Notice the work that you can do just sitting. Lifting the heart up, shoulders back, fingertips pressed to the earth as the top of the head pressing to the side. Sit up. Fully energized, fully awake. Inhale, lift. Feet breath in. Exhale, hands reach for the chest, hold on to it, core strong, still in Sadasana. Now we're going to move with just the right foot. Left leg will lift, press through the heel, core is working now on the side. Point, press, to foot. You're welcome to support the leg if you tire or fatigue. Welcome to use the strap if you have them. Rotate the ankle all the way around. Crunching, popping, it's okay as long as there is no pain. So this is normal, especially in the ankle for some reason. A lot of popping goes on there. So as long as there's no pain in your practice, you may continue. But if you're fine, can remember, you must rest, relax. We'll find a different um, modification to the pose. Reverse, okay, reverse. Thank you. Press through the heel, lift up a little higher, feel the work in that jaw. Still good posture, exhale down, still strong, right? Now switch out for Tadasana now on the left side. Feel the squeeze of the foot, the squeeze of the leg and glue the hip. Begin to lift up through the right heel. Core is strong, feel it working in. Good, you want to hold the chair to support the torso if you're fatiguing. Point flex. Expand and through the heel and the toe. Feel the calf and the shin working. Definitely the quad. Rotate all the way around. Good. Breathe. Effort and breathe. And reverse. Press through the heel, lift up a little higher, breathe, breathe, breathe. Four is working, and exhale, shake it out. All right, right arm comes up, reach it. Left hand comes down, extend, open up through the chest. Switch sides, now your left arm. Breathe. Switch one more time, extend, grab the chair away from your left hand, press your left foot to the floor, press the right foot to the floor, exhale, 
Extend through the left. Breathe. Holding it in. Anytime you need to rest, please do. And remember, every 15 or 20 minutes, you're going to get water. Please hydrate. So important to hydrate. Exhale out to the side. Try and shoot that right knee over ankles. Find that foundation. Know it's needed. It's important. Come back. Exhale down. Take it out. Ready? Opposite side. Left arm up. Press that next to the floor. Press the right foot to the floor. Squeeze your glutes. Slide to that center. Now, you can support the torso with your right hand if you'd like, and then lift the right hip. Breathe. After is breathing. And activity. Think of things like maybe little angels pulling on your table, fingers up, helping support you. Try that energy coming through the fingers. Breathe. Now, extend out to the side. You're welcome to stay in the original position. You don't have to extend. Now, think about that left knee opening. Find the support in that leg. In your sit bones. Inhale, come back. Exhale, take a breather. Nice deep breath in. Exhale, everything out. One more time. In and cleanse the breath. Inhale, arms come up, reach up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Feel prepared, cross your hands on your knees. You're welcome to widen the knees for your breath. If you need to find ease of breath, the knee helps widen the feet. And extend through the spine. Think of the tailbone pressing towards the back of the chair and the top of the head towards the knee. Eyes looking down. Good spiral alignment here. Let me move over to the right. Exhale to center, inhale to the left. Back to center. Move the hands, please press the feet to the floor. Remember to that center. Engage this way. Arms come out into a T. Breathe, holding it there. Slowly press the feet to the floor and lift up. Squeeze the glutes, reach up. Working it. One more time. Exhale, swan dive forward to prepare posture. Hands on your knees. You're willing to use that block right underneath you and place your hands on it. Move side to side. This allowing the lower back, the spine to stretch out, the hips gently stretch. And then gently, we're going to maybe move that block down a little lower. Anyone have any issues with hypertension or, or any medical issues with their heart that they need to keep that head above the heart? Please stay and put their caution. Otherwise, allow the head to drop into the full pose, fold, hinge there. Allow the head to hang. As long as you can breathe effortlessly. Allow the head to hang. Think of each vertebra. Standing and opening up, decompressing. As long as you can breathe, the water is not at the same time. Inhale, slowly start to bring the drop up to a higher level. Maybe hands come to the knees for prepared posture. And then reverse slide up. Strong core, lift through the heart, deep breath in, exhale, hands come down. 
Breathe. Inhale, lift for temple. Exhale, back to thighs. Extend the arms for a modified five-pointed pillow. Press through the wrists. Now you see the work in the wrists. Breathe. Point the wrists and fingers down. Good. Feel the stretch to the top of the arm. Bring it back up for five-pointed star. And then for thighs. Holding the air, bring up just your left heel. Good. Back down. Right heel. Hold. Keep the knees back. Good posture. Lift up top. Lock down. Exhale down. Both if you can. Both heels. Press the knees back. Thighs press back. Shoulders press back. Good. Now, let's do lion's breath. Since you have the mask on, I don't know if you're doing this, but you open wide and then let the tongue hang out and you breathe out. Everyone looks weird. <laughs> We've got masks on though. Thank you. Exhale, arms out, drop the heels. Now we go, shake off the arms. <laughs> it's fun to have those in. It makes you laugh. A lasting response engages a relaxation response and it also allows you to be a little more comfortable. We'll try that one more time. Feel comfortable. And thank goodness, the one time you may like having a mask on. <laughs> I'm going to fly in his breath, don't we? <laughs> Inhale, arms come up. Goddess arms. Press those knees back. Heels up. Full body in chair. Lion's breath. Open up the mouth. Extend the tongue down and breathe out. Inhale, temple. Five pointed star. Press out. Tail down, allow the chair windshield wider so the knees come over to one direction. Inhale back up and then to the other. You're pivoting in your chair. You're welcome to hold the chair to feel supported and secure. Allow the stretch through the quadriceps too. The more you bring that knee down, the more you feel the stretch. And back to center when you're ready. Shake it out. Good. All right. We're going to do some balance work. This will be standing. You're welcome to stay seated. So if being in a chair is where you need to be, please stay seated. All right. So we're going to come up into tree. But first, since we've done goddess, we will try goddess out of chair. So for those who stay in chair, you know how to do this. This way. Okay. Right. So find the doctor of standing. So you remember how it was in chair. Your legs not hip width apart. Shoulders up and back. Core is strong. Loose hips working here, keeping you supported. You welcome at any point. Hold the chair. Right. Now in standing. Bring the shins forward slightly so that you are not rocking your knees. Don't rock the knees. I want slight support. Use the muscle strength, not the skeletal system so much. All right. Breathe. Finding the spadasana. And lift up tall. Feel the energy coursing through you. Good. Arms come up. If you feel like you're standing, you're welcome to hold the chair. Exhale, hands come down to the chair. Wide legs. Extending the legs out as wide as it's comfortable for you. Our knees begin to track the toes. So just notice if you torch your knees somewhat, all right? Be very mindful of knees. If you feel any pain doing this, then your knees sit down, all right? We're here to take care of ourselves, not to hurt ourselves. 
So four is in, shoulders back. As if you've got an imaginary wall behind you, we're going to slide down that wall, bending the knees ever so slightly for body. Feel the thighs press out. Remember that knee, that feeling of the thigh pressing out. Your glutes are squeezing here. This is like a squat type move. So you should be feeling the glutes and hips engaged. Lift to the top of the head. Breathe. Now come out of this, extending the legs, lifting up. We're going to do this again. Exhale, slide down that imaginary wall a little deeper. Breathe. Adjust as you need to. You're welcome to adjust your feet. Anything so that you feel no pain in the knee. Breathe. Maybe the one arm up to go. Bring that elbow out and up. Open wide with the fingers. Good. Exhale. Other arm. Press up. Good. Lean. And down. Now you're welcome to stay here or come out of it. Or bring up your left heel. Good work in that side. Exhale down. Right here. Breathe. Exhale down. Maybe focus. This is the challenge mode. All right? You don't have to take it. Exhale down. Inhale, extend the legs. And slowly bring them together. Get down. Rotate the hips. All right, we worked a lot of core. This is good for strengthening the stability, the balance of muscles that are needed. And ready, one more time. Stand out. Back knee to the toes. Shoulders up and back. Exhale, against that imaginary wall, come down. Throw and pull the chair the entire time. Exhale, arms come up to the body. Breathe, squeeze, temple, reaching up. And five points, start, non-modified. Extend the legs, lift up, arms come out. This is a full five point start. Breathe, hands come down. Bring your feet in, find it up here. Strong right leg. We're going to lift the left. All right, so slowly we'll lift the left heel. Test it out. See how that right leg feels. Again, don't walk that left, that right leg. Don't walk it out. Right bend of that knee. And then maybe press out the balance. Holding on to a chair. You're welcome to even bring the, the chair to the left so you have both. Right by you. And lift up. Hold it there. If you've got it there, then exhale it out to the side. Still have to bounce in the leg, right? Still strong through the hip, through the core, shoulder. And then you're going to open the breeze to the floor for balance to the ankle. Press it against the calf, never on the knee. Never press into the knee. Five being three here. You're welcome to come into half press. Hold these things. Maybe a full press. Okay. Now again, you can have it right here. It's okay. This is our first class, so we'll just go straight to prayer. That's it. That's the math. We'll do this. <laughs> Breathe. To help you balance, sometimes it's up to find something in front of you not moving, even on the floor a few feet in front, to help you with balance. All right, and test it out. We'll start low. You want them to start low, and then slowly, if you feel that energy, and remind yourself of keeping the core strong, keeping the hips strong, the legs strong, then you'll progressively get better. Your body will memorize you. All right, we're going to bring the knee in, deep breath in, exhale down, shake it out. Yes, that foot gets tired. 
<laughs> That's guys. Warm them up with guys. All right, find the back of Pull her in, shoulders back. Left leg. Now we're going to find your moving. Bending the knee ever so slightly. Lifting, maybe, maybe the side. And remember, each side can be so different. So maybe put the right heel up on the side. Pose down. If you feel comfortable, maybe bring the toe up with them. Keep the strength. All right, you start focusing on one, move the other. Try and stay focused on the entire body. Maybe bringing it out and finding where now we have an open hip here. So we're really working hips as well as your stability. Finding maybe the position where you need to place that foot on the floor, ankle, or on the calf. Some people feel more comfortable with it up higher than the groin. That's totally fine if you practice that. Breathe. Maybe a half breath. Focus on strength in the body. On your breath. Maybe find a focal point to keep down. And then when you try to keep the strength, so don't judge it, but you know, it's a little harder on the side than the other, vice versa. And then slowly, we're going to come out of your screen and move forward. And exhale. Shake it out. Good job. And again, you're welcome to use more than the chair. You're welcome to bring the chair over to a wall and have both the wall and the chair. We have the space here to do it. You might just make sure you're six feet away from each other. <laughs> All right, palm tree. It may look easier, but it only you can get started. <laughs> okay, because you're on both feet, but it's still a very good balanced pose. So your feet, I like to have them about the foot apart, not much further than that. You can have them in close distance if you like. It's harder. This is where it comes where shoes come in to play. They don't always give you the best support. So just know that you know if you don't feel stable doing this. Maybe because you have shoes on. All right, so it may not be you today. You can blame something else. So shoulders up and back, core is in, breathe, and slowly come off of your heels. Feel that support here. Now I like to test while we're holding the chair to close the eyes and just notice from the toes up through the leg the movement. Where the stability is, where the strength is, are you energized? Is your muscles, are you using your muscles? Tadasana, right? The mountain pose. Breathe. How is your breath? Notice if you can control the breath and make it more efficient and deep if you find yourself more stable. Exhale, open the eyes, drop the heel. All right, just one way to assess the body and the stability. Now we're going to do this one more time. Maybe bring one arm out or not. So inhale, we're going to lift up. And kind of just went off from the heel. You might even feel the knees come forward slightly as you come up higher. Or it just depends for progress one day at a time. Maybe one hand out. Welcome to close the eyes and accept yourself for a second or a half a second or not at all. And maybe two. Feel that strength through the fingers, even as you lift up, reach up with the heart, squeeze the shoulder blades back. Exhale down, shake it out. Ooh, you feel it in your ankle, you feel it in your legs. Is this harder for you or easier? <laughs> it's different. It's different, but it's still a totally different feel. Yes, ma'am. On both feet, but it's totally different. So just know that um, we're working balance here. It's really important to have strong core muscles. So we'll progress there. We'll work on that. Okay. Don't get frustrated. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, shoulders up and down. Exhale, take a step back, still holding the chair. And exhale, press the tailbone back and up. Lift up, feel the stretch through the hamstring. Okay, and then walk one knee at a time. Starting one, then the other. The other one. Alternating, kind of like walking without lifting the feet. And stretching through the hamstring. Extend the arms. And adjust your feet as you need to. In order to kind of make a 90 degree angle in your hip. In the next exercise, prepare a posture. Standing. Inhale, lift up, reach up, and come forward. Shoulders back and back. Good. One more time. Keep breathing. Exhale, feet back. Come to prepare a posture. Just stand your arms forward, holding the chin. Now slowly lift the heart up. Look at your fingers, extend a little further. And then come down. Feel the arm stretch. Now allow the head to come through the upper arm for a modified down draw. You bring the head through the arm. And you feel the stretch through the arm, fit through the shoulder. Uh, I hope you feel the hamstring. Stretching through the back. Good. You're welcome to look up forward, and if you'd like to come down a little bit lower to do this, get a deeper stretch or not. And slowly inhale up. Look at that posture and bring the right leg forward. Left leg stays down. And into a line. Right. Hips are parallel to the back of your chin. So adjust, knee is over the ankle. And then stretch the back leg. And you're welcome if you don't find, if you didn't take a very good step and you did not feel enough of a stretch, to come back as far as you like. As long as that front knee is stable and is not in pain. So adjust yourself as you need to. You are going to move the hips side to side, opening up joints, moving joints, and now extend the front leg. Breathe. Hold the chair. Extend as much as you like. Maybe bringing the toes up and down. Then the front knee. Find lunge here. If you find that it's tiring to do this, what would be used? Walk, for example, and just bring the knees down mostly as long as it's stable. All right, and so that if you find that you're tired, we're going to press the hips back up and bring your foot back to prepare posture. Switching up the leg, left leg comes forward now. So nice lunge on the left side. You're going to adjust the back leg. And of course, you're welcome to use cross, split pillow, whatever you might have, and then allow yourself to a little bit more relaxing to do it this way and still get a stretch. So, good posture, even here. Heart lifts. We're going to extend the front leg and come forward with the heart. You feel the stretch in both legs. Inhale, come up and bring that front knee to lunge. Knees over the ankle. Good. Breathe. Shoulders back. Good posture. Maybe scoop the back leg forward just a tad. All right, get ready. We're going to bring that left leg back. Back. And prepare posture. Lots of stretching of legs here today. Breathe. Come forward, take a step, and stand. Relax. Good. We're going to come into our 
Breathe, coming back. I like to switch hands. And we're going to try and bring it over. And this is where we add that twist if you'd like. You don't have to. So the arm comes out, my right arm comes out, and the heart goes to the right side. Breathe. The more you pull the leg, the more you twist, the more you feel it through the spine. So again, listen to the body. Inhale, come back to reach the center. Lift up a little higher, coming into pigeon on this side. And again, you're welcome to use the floor as a block or just place it on the side. Sit tall. Adjust as you need to again. No hand. Need to get the hip. Exhale. Come forward. Reach forward. Off of the head. The knee. Eyes look down. Maybe grab a chair. And a deeper stretch. Or not. Move side to side. That's what feels best. Give a space for relax. The deep breath there. Relaxing the forehead. The eyes, the eyes soften. The cheek bones. The jaw. The teeth. The tongue.
their arms and not three chips. All come to us in the name of the Lord. I'm going to take a time today. It is my pleasure and I'm going to guide you through the practice. Not only that you are your own God. Accepting where you are. Finding peace. Peace with that mind. Or acceptance. And peace with the one that we can pass on and share with others. As we go along the very day, think kind thoughts, speak kind words, and do kind deeds. The life that we see and honor the life of each and every one of you. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.